All right, hello and welcome to Wheelie's Travels, China edition. We are sitting in my apartment here. Sun's going down and I thought I would talk to you guys about medication. Once you find the pharmacy, it's, um, it's easy to get medication. However, you need to know what you're looking for. Um, so bringing your own stuff is very important. Um, I get migraines, so I'm glad I brought the economy size Advil, okay? However, if you don't get migraines and you don't get headaches like I do, just bring a little bit. Don't bring the giant version like I did for fevers. I got Tylenol here, and I have like the five persons traveling for like eight years. <laughs> I wish I brought only a few Tylenol. Um, however, if you don't get migraines, you could just get by with Tylenol uh, because it's both for fevers and for pain relief, and I would only bring a few of that. I'm really happy I brought Dayquil and Nyquil. Um, I got sick when I first got here. I wish I brought them in liquid form because one time I was swallowing one of these Nyquils and uh, it got lodged. And I had a Miranda in Sex and the City. Remember that episode where she was choking and had to like Heimlich herself over the chair? Yeah, I had like a reenactment with this chair. I had to, out came one of these. It was like, huh! Poop. That was a little scary, especially because I lived by myself. I was like, how am I going to really fucking run out there and be like, I'm dying. Ah. Speaking of liquid form, I'm super happy I brought my Pepto. I've been here five months. I started here, went down here. Well, that's what happens with the food around here. The food around here is not always reliable. If you're in a rural place, um, be wary. I've had friends get really sick. If you see a lot of people outside the restaurant, you're probably good to go. Um, however, don't just walk into some random place, point at some food, and expect not to get sick, because you're gonna get sick. Um, I haven't had as much trouble, but I was very careful. Um, boys tend to be a little more adventurous, and sometimes I can bite you in the ass. Pun intended. <laughs> I'm very glad I brought my Pepto, and especially in liquid form, because it's easier when you're like, <laughs> whatever it's called, what is this called? And histamine. And Benadryl is important for anti, you know, allergic stuff. I'm not really allergic to anything back home. I don't have um, reoccurring allergies. But when I got here, I, t I was like allergic to the world. I walked out of the thing and I'm like, achoo! And I'm like, oh, like my head hurt and everything was like all funny. Neosporin. Bring it. Band-aids, so you just have them on hand. Because you will get a blister. You will get cut on something, and you don't know what's in it, and this will clean um, your wound. I like these Flexi Grip ones that are like natural color. The clear ones I brought are crap; they just fall off. Oh, and then bring wipes. There's like dust everywhere. Um, bring like and you know like those cleaning wipes, like baby wipes. Bring that everywhere. Uh, they don't have tissue paper in the bathrooms. Um, you'll yeah, bathrooms are a whole other video traumatized. Oh, and don't bring sandals. You don't need them. You will step on sludge. Uneven pavement, you're going to skin your knee. Guaranteed you're going to fall on your butt. Like the first three weeks, I'm just like, what the fuck? You know, you can't trust anything around here. You watch your step. Disgusting. You will never wear them, uh, especially with those bathrooms the way they are. Actually bring ugly ass tennis shoes that are very good for your feet, running shoes, because and you're also less likely to get gross things in your feet. Ugh. You're going to be walking everywhere and no one's going to be judging what you're wearing. I know. I thought it was going to be like Europe where, you know, you kind of care about what you wear. No. China doesn't give a shit. So wear those stupid American tennis shoes. Um, I'm going on tangents. We Okay. So um, bring floss. Cranberry. It's basically cranberry juice but in a pill form because they don't have cranberry juice here. So I'm very happy I brought this. Um, bring your antibacterial soap, what is it, hand sanitizer. Uh, you can't really buy that unless you're a, a giant Tesco or something. You can usually find them there, but sometimes they're not even in there. Uh, bring uh, melatonin. Um, you know when you start to feel sleepy? That's melatonin. If you have trouble sleeping like I do, especially in weird places like a uh, plane, it gives you a little extra of that natural sleepy chemical that occurs in your brain. and. Um, having a little extra of it will help you get sleepy at weird times, like when you're on a plane, you're trying to get your sleep schedule to the new place. 
Um, and also in weird situations like having a bunch of people around you. So melatonin was perfect for flights. I maybe not have brought as many. There's so many in here. Because um, I don't use them to go to sleep here. No one's here. I can just knock out. It's Advil, Dayquil, Benadryl, Melatonin, Pepto-Bismol, hand sanitizer, Tylenol uh, for fevers, and uh, cranberry pills for UTIs, and of course your Neosporin and Floss um, to keep clean. So yeah, that's the end. Um, so those are the medications I'm happy I brought, and I'm actually not missing that many. Um, I wish I brought nothing. I, I don't have anything that I'm really worried about. I wish I brought more fiber. Because that keeps you more regular with the food around here. Bring stuff for your, your tummy. Okay. All right. I will see you guys next time.